Hello dears, Ora here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your empty packages of uh, mechanical embellishments by Prima and create with them a beautiful altered project. First I choose some image from Prima Ephemera pack and I'm going to cut a circle and uh, put it into metal element. To protect the image, I am covering it with a gloss soft gel. I still don't know what I am going to do exactly with uh, these tags but I want to protect them anyway, so I'm covering them with a clear gesso. And now I'm applying a modeling paste through stencils. In the end of the tutorial you will see that all this texture will be covered with embellishments. But when I added the modeling paste I still didn't know about it. So, you can uh, decide not to do this step, it's your choice. To get more dimensional look, I'm gluing these tags with a chipboard piece between them. Now I'm going to assemble all elements and the biggest elements I always put in the center. I decided to use here a few chipboard gears, uh, so to give them a more realistic look I'm coloring them with uh, Art Alchemy acrylic metallic paints. When you use these paints on chipboard or metal elements you don't need to prime the surface with a gesso. And uh, as you see I decided to color also the chipboard clock.
to glue metal embellishment and flowers I'm using 3D matte gel. It's stronger than a regular craft glue. And I have to tell you that you will find the whole supplies list with the links in the movie description on YouTube. Now I'm applying a white gesso diluted with water to cover all chipboard elements and uh, to highlight a little bit uh, metal embellishments. Now I want to add uh, some shading around the composition and uh, to color a little bit uh, chipboard elements. So to do it I'm using water soluble oil pastels and uh, water brush. The final touch is uh, to add some candies between the elements. I am using Finabare glass glitter and uh, glass beads and gluing them with a soft gloss gel. That's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you're welcome to ask me in the comments. I remind you that you will find the, the supplies list in the movie description. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!